That's Lenny Kravitz, so it ain't over till it's over. Thank you, Claire, I'm sound. And with me is Dane Cobain. Do you want to talk about your, your um, cooking channel on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, I can do. So, well, I, I suppose I can promote my Instagram as well. So, well, we're, we're, both, we're, we're both vegan, as uh, some listeners know, uh, because we've talked about vegan cookbooks in the past, actually, Absolutely, as well. So, yeah. and um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm a, a bit of a YouTube addict. I get, like, a big chunk of my well basically my entertainment comes from Spotify YouTube and Netflix and that's that's pretty much it and when my internet goes down I listen to vinyls but um, so yeah I, I watch a lot of YouTube and that's you know I got into making YouTube videos because I was making videos about books and yeah. there's a, a community sort of called booktube um, but really on YouTube there are communities for everything there are sub communities for I mean I mean beauty is a big one beauty and fashion yeah. gaming but I've seen like there's a knitting community exactly. where people share designs and wow. updates and stuff it's actually so there's one person I watch who does reading and knitting on their channel and so I've kind of ended up watching the knitting and I'm like this is amazing look I at that that's probably quite therapeutic yeah yeah exactly yeah um, <laughs> But yeah, so, and then another big, you know, there's a big food community and within that there's a big vegan community. So, um, so I've had a, an Instagram just called Dane's Vegan Journey where I just post pictures of my food basically. Mm -hmm. So I thought, why not post uh, videos of my food as well? Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I started doing that. My, my plan is to do like some recipes and stuff, but mostly that, because I was saying to you just, just, uh, just a, a moment ago that it requires a totally different sort of style of filming and editing, I guess, and I'm by no means an expert, but when I'm talking about books, I can set up a camera on a tripod and just sit there and talk mm. and it's fine. Whereas when you're in the kitchen, you know, you want to have maybe close-ups on different things, you want to move the camera around, uh, it, even things as well like, it sort of seems as though you can't make a video with some food without actually trying the food at the end, which is fine, but then you have to film yourself eating, which is weird, <laughs> and like, I think with because mm. yeah yeah exactly and make all the right noises and be like oh, maybe a bit more seasoning and you yeah. know but um because because yeah, yeah, yeah well like, it's interesting because I, I, I mean by the time that I got into the booktube community making videos I'd made videos here and there before and I was kind of okay in front of a camera I mean I play open mic nights and stuff so I'm kind of used to that like little added element of pressure I guess but most people who start booktube there'll just be random people who just want to talk about books and then maybe filming on their phone and everyone always says that's the hardest thing is just talk, sitting down and talking to a camera because yeah. it's so alien mm. um, but I've kind of got that bit fine but sitting down in front of a camera and eating yeah <laughs> definitely weird and you've got like a light on you shining on you as well yeah. and you're just like this is so strange and but um, yeah I mean it's, it's, it's a fun little thing to do as well and you know, it's it's quite nice because actually it helps you to remember things that you've cooked as well. So I'll be like, that what was that really nice thing I made?